Hi, we all know that reading with our children is an excellent opportunity to bond with them. And it's also a great way to share some of our enthusiasm for whatever topic we're most interested in. And with me, we know that science. So I have a great book I want to share today with my children. Are you guys ready to read? Yeah! Yeah, Mommy! We're going to read Pat, Schrodinger's Kitty. No! <laughs> Here are Paul Dirac and Enrico Fermi. They can do lots of things. You can do lots of things, too. Enrico can pat Schrodinger's kitty. Now you pat Schrodinger's kitty. Enrico can examine the surface of an object that absorbs very few visible wavelengths. Now you examine the surface of an object that absorbs very few visible wavelengths. Can you see yourself? You stay on like as ugly as a man. <laughs> <laughs> Paul can express the propagation of a photon as both a wave and a particle. Now you describe photon behavior in terms of wave-particle duality. I think it's a wave. I think it's a particle. It's a wave. Particle. Okay, enough. It happens to be both. Oh. Enrico can conduct a search for elusive subatomic particles. Now you try to find theoretical subatomic particles. <laughs> Paul can try to interact with billions of neutrinos. Now you try to interact with neutrinos. <laughs> Very good, you guys. Enrico Paul can theorize about the implications of the existence of physical tunnels in the fabric of space-time. Now you explore the existence of alternate universes through wormholes in the fabric of space-time. <laughs> Whoa. Good night, kids. Good night, Mom. Andy, I'm scared. Why? I think there's a black hole under the bed. Mm -hmm. I don't feel any extra gravitational pull. But I 